from Anfield, it's Liverpool, it's United, and I can't wait for it on Sunday. Uh, Liverpool coming off back-to-back clean sheets for Liverpool. Look at that defensive process. Or is it rather the teams they played against? A 2-0 win over Wolves midweek after a goalless draw at home against... Crystal Palace on the weekend. They've actually kept a clean sheet in four of five overall. The one exception was the 5 0 thrashing at the hands of Real Madrid. They've played to the under two and a half in four of five, and they've been the first to score in four of five as well. They're up to sixth place in the table, just six points behind Spurs with the game in hand. They're eight, three, and one on the season at home, 27 goals for and nine against, and haven't given up a goal at home in their last three games. And even better news for Liverpool is Cunyate has come back into the team, uh, and him and Van Dyke look like a very solid partnership there at center back. For Manchester United, no Premier League game for two weeks, but over that span, uh, a win over Barcelona, a win in the Carabao Cup, a win over West Ham in the FA Cup, and United are absolutely flying right now. A 3-0 win over Leicester City last time out in the Premier League. United somehow haven't lost a game with both Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro playing in the team. That's just a ridiculous statistic. And guess what? They're both, unless something crazy happens, going to play this weekend. Four wins in a row, no losses in 11 in all competitions, and they've gone over two and a half goals in four or five. This team is just playing some really good attacking football when it was a struggle earlier in the season. They've scored two or more goals in their last five league games, and they've scored two or more goals in their last 12 games overall. They moved up to fourth in the table, uh, fourth in terms of goals scored in the table, and they've scored 41 goals. And it's spot on in terms of their XG at 41.8. They're the third best away record of six, two, and four, but, and it's a big but, 17 goals for goals scored to 20 goals conceded. And they actually have a negative 0.9 expected goal differential, according to InfoGoal, with seven, seven teams better than that in terms of that category. Um, Luke Shaw was unavailable midweek. We'll see if he's available for the weekend. And Jaden Sancho was sick midweek and should be able to go on the weekend. Head to head, United won this game 2 1 earlier this season. And this matchup has gone over the total of two and a half in the, la- the last six times that they've played. Um, another massive game this weekend. What's your big play in this one, Jake? Um, Oh, it's a tough one. I've been going back and forth as well. Um, I think there's the the market looks about right to me. Um, there's a lot of caveats to both teams. Recent form, obviously Liverpool four clean sheets in the league in a row, but those four have come against kind of lesser teams, lesser opponents that you'd expect them to to win comfortably against. Um, and United away from home have been a little bit. Suspect at times. Um, they've conceded nearly 1.5 expected goals against per away game across the last seven matches. So, um, you know, in theory, you've got two teams with potentially very vulnerable defences, which would lead itself to um, quite a high-scoring game. I just think the line's set a tiny bit too high for me, though. So I'm actually going to go no bet in this one. Um, gutless, I, 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 gutless yeah. play. <laughs> <laughs> I had um, I had United on the handicap written down. Oh, actually, the price has actually moved. Maybe we might have a play. I, last night when I did these notes, um, yeah, the, the price was plus 104 for United on the handicap. It's now plus 111. Plus 111. So the, the market is moving against them. Um, yeah, the the only I guess the only thing that's holding me back is the is the schedule, which is piling up for United. They've played a lot of football. Um, I know that they're winning a lot, so you know they carry that momentum, and it kind of you know you don't feel like you're doing as much football work. But um, yeah, the, the the midweek games, both of them played. But I, yeah, I, 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 all right, I'm going to go United on the handicap uh, plus one eleven. Um, I think that momentum that they've got, they've got that kind of grit, that determination. They've got those kind of intangibles that you're starting to see now regularly um that winning mentality they've got a, a, in my opinion probably a slightly stronger spine at the moment than what liverpool have um which i think is really important in these kind of big games uh yeah i could see it being quite a high scoring game i think there's vulnerabilities of both defensive back lines um 
But yeah, I think taking United on the handicap at that price, plus one eleven money back if it gain, if it ends in a draw, which I could see happening, then yeah, I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that. I think that they are the slightly better team right now, um, and you're getting a plus number on uh, on you know drawing a bit. You're nodding, so I guess you better. Better No, no, I, I one. I, I can't believe my peer pressure worked on you. Was it because I called you gutless? <laughs> No, it was, it was more the price change. Um, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't expecting it to have shifted based off the fact that Liverpool beat Wolves. So, um, yeah, I, I've, I've been making a profit on United for quite some time, backing this team because I believed in them. When I think a lot of people still have questions, slightly better than Liverpool right now. Come on, if, if uh, look, I'll say this: if Liverpool go out and come away with a result in a game like this, I think they're finishing top four. But this recent run of form where they've been undefeated in their last four in the Premier League. Everton, you know, bottom of the table. Newcastle, you played 70 minutes. I know you were two goals up, but then you were a man up for the better part of 70 minutes. Looked horrible playing Palace in a goal is draw on the weekend. And Wolves looked hopeless against them in a 2-0 win. Like, they haven't been playing very good teams, especially teams that can go, go and expose their defensive frailties as well. And United are the healthiest they beat. I know that Erickson's out and, you know, Martial can't get fit. But, I mean, this team has requisite depth right now. And there's like a swagger confidence in the group. They were able to rotate their center backs. So it's going to be Verana Martinez coming in um, at, at center back on the weekend. They're rotating at right back. They're, they're rotating in the midfield now. Um, it, it just seems Rasher didn't start midweek. So, yeah, United on the handicap at plus 111. It's a no doubt play for me. Also, I documented United are scoring goals like every game they play. Like they've got over scored more than two goals in the last five league games, and they've scored two or more goals in the last 12 overall. So give me United to score more than one and a half goals at plus 119. Two plays in this game, both at a plus number, both siding with Manchester United. Let's go, Jake. Those are my two plays in this game. So, because I can see this game being high scoring as well. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, well, I mean, one thing that we've consistently said is that Liverpool do score goals. Uh, that's kind of, you know, they, they create chances, they score goals, they're at home in this match, which, you know, if you'd have said at the start of the season, you'd get plus 146 for Liverpool at home to Man United, it would have been, wow, just take all my money. But, um, you know, yeah. right now that price feels a little bit right. It, it, you know, the way in which these two teams are kind of playing and, I think that price does suggest that if these two were to play at a neutral venue in a cup final, then it would be very close to a pick em, if not slightly in Man United's favour. Right. I mean, in recent years, you'd, you'd see teams go to Anfield. United teams go to Anfield, whether it's under Mourinho or Solskjaer or whoever, and they go there and they play in a gutless way. They wouldn't, they wouldn't go out and play football. United don't have a manager like that now. Like they're going to Liverpool to win that game. They're not going there to pick up a point. They're going for the full three points. They're going to play attacking football. This is United's DNA right now. And a team like that going to Anfield playing against a Liverpool where their strength relies in chance creation, maybe not finishing, but certainly chance creation. I like the prospect for goals in this game, um, but I'm going to stick with the two United plays in this one. 